Hey guys, Auto Ecstasy here. Uh, we're starting a new series. It's called um, Racing for Beginners. And we're going to go over this first part is um, it's about the ship controls. And ship controls we're going to go over is throttle, afterburner, space brake, um, your mouse DPI or your joystick sensitivity, com stab, G safe, ESP, and switching strafe and roll. Two. One, go. Okay, we're not going to worry about speed right here. Um, the first thing we're going to start with is mouse sensitivity or joystick sensitivity. Um, the ship here is a Mustang Alpha, but it'll work in any ship. You see how fast the ship will turn left to right? Um, not just how fast the ship is turning, because that's more ship function, but my mouse, like I'm using a mouse right now, so how quickly it will go left and right. Something I noticed in my racing was that when I was turning or rolling left or right, because of the speed my mouse was moving, it was moving too fast, so it was causing my ship to jerk, and it was hard to get more precision and smoother smoother racing out of it because it was just too fast. So what you can do to fix that if you find your sensitivity is too low, because like right now, this is where I race at. So I find this well, and I did this adjustment in my mouse software. But you can do it in the software of the game, and I'll show you where that's at. But now I want to show you what it looks like when your setting's too high. See, this is very high. I'm barely moving my mouse at all, and my mouse is just flying left to right really, really fast. And so that's a DPI setting that's just too high. So I knock it down to something like this, and it's far more controllable. I'm moving the mouse the same amount, and it's moving a lot less. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is adjust your mouse DPI or your joystick DPI. So maybe your software doesn't do it, but you can do it here in controls. Just go to options um, and then go under controls and options and make sure you're under mouse. Um, for those that are mouse and for those that are joystick, just go over to your joystick, hold as one. Uh, it's gonna be located in the same spots. So we'll go down to mouse and I usually close inversion settings just to get down the mouse settings quicker. And then I close on foot so that I can get right here to flight. So you can see I'm running a flight, um, pitch, and yaw. Um, I'm running at 1.0. Now you can knock that, you can speed it up if you want, or you can knock it down. But I'll knock it all the way down to 0.5, and then we'll go back in and I'll show you what that did. See that? I'm moving the mouse the same amount as I was before. But you can see it's barely moving. It's super low. And that's at 0.5 with, with my DPI where it is right now. So yours might be different, but now we'll go in and I'll go back and I'll change it back. Um, if I wanted it to move faster, I would change, I would put the setting higher. Uh, you know, like here I would change it to like 1.5, you know, whatever, 1, 1 1.5, whatever. So I'll go back to 1 because that's where I run it at. So that's where you adjust your mouse or your joystick sensitivity. I'll go over here and then it's the same thing in the, um, in the joystick. Uh, here we are right here's your flight controls you just change this 1.0 down you know and you don't have to save you just click it and leave it you just click it like that and it's already saved and you just press back and it's already saved okay so that's the first control um, the next control is, is a lot of you picked up on it quick because if you've been playing Star Citizen at any time at all, you know this control. It's the throttle. And the throttle is W. And if you look on the left, um, you can see here, if you look on the left, my right now my SCM throttle is 0. Now it's 20. Now it's 40. Now it's 60. Or close to. There we go. Oh, 50, there's 60. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because of this, the coloring on the screen. Now it's 80, and now it's 100. And those are percentages of your throttle. So this is the Mustang Alpha, and it was 170 SCM at max throttle. Um, now that's not afterburner, that's just throttle. Okay, and so the next thing I'm going to teach you about is your space brake. Um, because you're going to use that in conjunction with your throttle. Space brake is actually a way to keep your throttle all the way up. And when you press space break, which is alt X, left alt, left alt and X, like that right there. You notice I came to a full halt, but look at my throttle speed. It says 100. I did that with the space break. So you can spin circles, go any which way you want to go. 
point your nose where you need to go and then release your space brake and it will shoot you right in that direction. Checkpoint. So again, that was left alt and X is your space brake. I'll do it again. There it goes. Drop my speed all the way to zero and yet my throttle still says 100. So that's what I do. I run at full throttle around every track and if I need to use my space brake then I just, you know, alt X um, and it will put my space brake on to slow me down. Okay, the next one we're gonna go over is the afterburner. The afterburner is left shift. Now you gotta be careful with this because afterburner gets a little crazy, like right here. There's a little bit of afterburner. Um, I'll show you some more afterburner um, when we get up here on this next straightaway. Checkpoint. Okay, right here. Now this is all out, just left afterburner. This is all afterburner and see how fast it goes. Okay, the Alpha goes 840. The Mustang Alpha goes 840. Oh, we blew up because we went out of bounds. Okay, so it goes 840. So that's really fast for this ship. Okay, it's it's totally fast enough to be out of control. So again, afterburner is left shift. So what I would recommend for like the newer uh, pilots is just bump it. Just tap it, just bump it. Um, and use it when you have some room to use it and get off it before you have to start turning and making your next um, route to your next objective. Okay, and the next control we want to go over is, um, we want to, we're going to, I'm going to show you the switching between strafe and roll on your mouse. Like normally your mice default to turning like this, left and right. Okay, strafing your front end, left and right um, with your mouse. But if you press right, alt, and period, that's right, alt, and period. Now it just switched it with roll. Now if I press left and right, I roll. And if I press um, E and Q, now I am, I'm spinning just my front nose left and right. So if I wanna switch it back, some people will find they like the rolling better. Uh, okay, so if I wanna switch it back, I just right, alt, and period. And now it's back, now I can go right left and right with my mouse and I can roll with my Q and my E. Okay, and the next control is ESP. Um, it's a predicted target flight path thing. I usually shut it off for simplicity and racing. You can see it right there on the right. It says right above your fuel, your fuel is, is QF, quantum fuel. But right above it, it says Q, ESP. ESP shutting it on and off is right alt and zero. And zero. I'm sorry. Oh, right all in O. There you go, you can see me turn it on and off. So we'll shut that off. And there's two more controls we're gonna talk about and that is Comstab and G-Safe. Okay, now what Comstab does is it is a stability controller. Um, it's like uh, traction control for a spaceship. And what it does is it will break you when you're in corners. <laughs> like watch, I'm just going 170 right now and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna dart up right after this objective. And you'll see it's gonna slow my speed down. Checkpoint. There it goes. It dropped me down to like 113 or something like that. And that was the stability controller. That was the comm stab. And um, that is what comm stab Checkpoint. does. Is it slows your speed down so that you don't go too fast in turns. Um, it's kind of like, a, like a training wheels um, for pilots. And I strongly recommend new new racers to use it. Um, and I say that because when you get more advanced, you're not gonna use it. But while you're first starting out and you're learning your ship and you're learning your controls and you're learning the maps, you're probably going to fare better in races with it on. That has been my experience. With it off, you're probably gonna crash a whole lot more. And to turn it on and off, you press V. Just regular V will turn it on and off. If you also notice, it's turning on G safe on and off. And G-safe is the G's that happen in your cockpit when you are going around corners. So I'll shut them both off. And you will see what happens if you take a turn too fast, you'll start blacking out. Checkpoint. Now I didn't, I didn't actually black out there, but you'll see it here in a minute. Woo. It actually makes the ship slide more. See there, I'm actually sliding left right there when I was trying to go straight. 
that doesn't happen when your G when your comm stab is on because comm stab will slow you down and help you keep control of your ship. Sure. If you're having trouble keeping control of your ship in the turns, you might want to turn your comm stab back on. But the G safe, all that means is like, like watch, I'll probably crash here, but it's all good. I'm gonna go straight here and I'm gonna turn left. I'll hit my boost. Turn right. Okay. It's not going. Oh, you see, I got a little hot little fuzzy there in the screen that's because I'm slightly starting to black out real light um, the faster and faster you're going the more you'll begin to black out with your G safe on what that does is it helps you so that you don't black out in those tight turns and stuff but I tell you you're gonna get your best performance with that off um, all of these you're gonna want all these controls off all these special you know beginner driver controls off when you are racing at your best top speeds in these tracks. That's how the, the best racers are getting the best speeds. They've shut all these things off and they're literally drifting around these corners and using their afterburner to control themselves a lot more. Okay, see the Mustang was drifting there. You'll drift right into a ring, an objective ring, if you don't do it all just right. So I recommend turning them on until you are really comfortable with the tracks and the ship and your controls that you're doing. Okay, so those are your ship controls for racing. We went over throttle, again, that is W and S. W's throttle up, S is down. Afterburner is left shift. Space brake is left alt and X. Uh, your mouse DPI and your joystick sensitivity is in the, the options menu. I showed you where that was at. Com stab and G safe are both V. You can rotate between the two by pressing V. Um, ESP on and off is right alt and O. And the last thing was switching strafe and roll. Um, and that was right alt and period. And so again, these are controls you can use on every ship. All right, y'all, hope you liked it and hope you subscribe. See you in the next one.